up, Lydis? And I did my makeup and hair and changed my clothes and brushed my teeth. Good morning, good afternoon. How are you today? Pause. How are you doing? Think about it. Have you thought about that even once today? How are you doing? You probably asked everyone else that question, but you, are you feeling happy? Are you feeling productive? Are you feeling your optimal self? If not, let's fix that. Let's change it right now. It's not too late to change your day, your game. I'm feeling great. I hope you're feeling great. Here's what the game plan for today is. It's going to be a very productive day and going to be things I haven't done for a really long time. So that's why I'm dressed up like a professional. The mission for today is you. I have to wake up and I have to do a call with my PR company. Did it. It's done. After that, I have one two, three, four meetings that I have today. Back to back to back meetings, four, so it's gonna be a lot of being on and being present and paying attention for long periods of time. After that, I'm gonna come home. I do wanna do some house things. I do wanna clean my office a little bit. Hopefully I get time to do that. Work on my writing room a little bit, trying to decorate a bit more. And then this evening, I have some of my friends coming over. You'll see who in a little bit. Aside from all of that, I'm gonna try to get all of the bonus points today, figure out efficiently what I need to work on in any spare time I have, because one of the shoots I had for tomorrow got canceled. So I have a little more free time. That doesn't mean free time that means great what can I catch up on work wise that I haven't been able to do so that's what it is today it's gonna be a wonderful day together you and I me and you are you ready let's do it just finished one of my meetings it was at my house now I'm heading out my damn tripod just broke and I've been struggling with it for five minutes trying to figure it out and I'm sweating and I'm frustrated so I'm just gonna throw it to the side for a second and not let it ruin my vibe but we're heading to our second meeting let's go You know how I'm really big on problem solving and eliminating stress, right? I have a see-through backpack, so I'll never have to search for something in my bag. I know exactly where everything is. Boom! Second meeting done. I'm heading to my third and fourth meeting. I'm running so late, like hour, an hour late because all my meetings are running long, but we gonna get it done. Put it all in. Yeah. Looking at the truth, the money never lie, no. Yeah, you sick of all those other imitators. Don't let the owner real one intimidate ya. Let's talk some real talk. <laughs> I just had another meeting, came home. One of my meetings got canceled because a major curveball got thrown into my world and my universe and the world of Superwoman and the career of Lily Singh, which I'm not gonna get into too much detail about because legality, secret things, whatever, trash doesn't matter, the details don't matter, but I've gotten better at, you know, I used to be really bad at this back in the day and I'm still not the best at it. At when I get upset or annoyed or angry, like I used to be very responsive right away and be like, let me just respond right away out of anger. And I've gotten, I've tried to get really better at like controlling my emotion and have have like for lack of better term a poker face or like at least a face where like I don't show too much of what I'm feeling and, and before you think I'm trying to be a robot that's not the case like when I'm in meetings sometimes it's important for people not to know what you're always thinking because you gotta be professional and you, I, I'm a business woman I'm a business owner at the end of the day and I'm not trying to wear my emotions on my sleeve and so boss tip life is gonna continuously throw you curveballs that's never gonna go away but you should never act out of instinct and emotion you should always try to control that it's gonna be impossible to do it all the time i guess what i'm trying to get at is that i was in this meeting and i got bad news and i was like all right well i'm gonna connect with you on this tomorrow once i've slept and once i can process it because if i can't say something productive i don't want to say something and so um that's what i think i think i was thinking about on the drive home and i was like no matter how successful you get and no matter how comfortable you feel in life to have a meaningful and challenging life you're gonna keep getting pushed out of your comfort zone and you're gonna keep like, having to deal with challenges and life is all about just adapting and adjusting and dealing with the challenges that are thrown at us and that's never ever gonna go away so that's the realization i had on my drive home which was doesn't matter how successful someone gets challenges are inevitable and will always happen and so with that in mind you should view them as challenges not as like complete roadblocks or a bad life that's just the way it is but now i've rambled on and we're gonna go inside and we're gonna get some work done so <laughs> So curveballs come and curveballs go and that's okay I decided that today in my free evening the friends are supposed to come over actually canceled They were busy with some stuff, which is fine I actually don't get mad when people cancel on me because I know how it is in LA and fellow creators all have stuff to do And they're all so busy so I completely understand and respect it's actually for the best because I've had a little bit of emotional turmoil So it's good. I'm gonna commit this evening to cleaning the office and the office closet Which I've been saying I'm gonna do for like a week and I haven't done yet that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm committing to it. And it's gonna be so remedial and so calming and that's what's happening. This is the before situation. As you can tell, it's kind of not great. This in here is not a great situation. Things aren't really organized that well. We gonna fix all this. Ta-da! Oh, what the hell? Why, why, no! Cardboard cutouts, why, damn you! No, 
Don't make it seem like I didn't do anything. Yay! So we got organization, got labels here, SLRs, lenses, boom, 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 boom. Greatness. I look like a crazy person. I'm gonna be honest, there's 41 emails in my inbox and I don't wanna check any of them. Like I really just don't wanna check any of them. I'm right now making a to-do list and I'm sending some emails to other people I work with, but otherwise, like it's 1 a.m. I clean the entire office, I clean the entire closet, I had three meetings today, and I'm just gonna like, cut myself some slack today because of that curveball that got thrown into my life right now. And I think that's okay. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I can do that. Some days it's, it's fine. That, right? 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 Okay, something happened that just totally made my day so much better. So I'm watching Hailey Steinfeld's new music video to most girls and it's like a great song. It's, I love it so much. It's basically about how like, when guys are like, oh, you're not like most girls. And she's like, yo, most girls are sick. Most girls are awesome. Like I want to be like most girls. So, so wicked. I'm like vibing out to it. I'm listening to it all day. I just like took a scroll through the comments and one of the top comments underneath the music video with 1,665 likes is superwoman vibes here. Hashtag girl love. I didn't even associate with the song. I didn't know that's just like a random comment I've seen. That makes me so happy because if I want to be known for anything, it would be something like that. That is so wonderful and awesome. Go into that music video. Hilly Steinfeld's music video called Mo Most Girls. Show it some love. It is such a goddamn good song. Eee. Before I sleep, I need this win today. As you know, this broke and I can't figure it out. I've been all day trying to fix it. What I think happened is that the piece that goes on this is stuck in there and I need to like knock it back into place. I tried to take it out with pliers, did not happen. So we're gonna just see what happens right now. What if I like do this, right? Right? And then hit it. <laughs> God damn you. You're gonna see the mental breakdown of Superwoman in a second. I'm going to bed. I couldn't fix it. I'm going to bed. You know how I feel about failing. It's goddamn mother effing tripod. I order another one. It's fine. It's just today's not my day, but it's okay. You know why? Because even though today's my, not my day, someone else will be praying for this day I have right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm aware. I'm aware. Oh, F me. Okay. No, ignore that, ignore that. Focus on this. I'm just the queen of getting bruised, right? So the other day, when I walk into my garage, there's just one door and the door handle I always walk into. I'm just like not used to it, I don't know. I always walk into it, it hurts so much. I, I was shooting yesterday, I walked into it and I was like holding my side and people were like, okay, you're exaggerating. Okay, you ready for this, you ready for this? Okay, hold on, wait. Yeah, 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 do you see that? Do you see that? See this exaggeration right here? Look, this is from walking into a door handle. Calculage. I got this map, I'm gonna open it tomorrow. It's basically a map, the whole world is black and gold, and when you scratch off the places you've been, the gold turns to a different color. So you can track all your travels. That would be really cool, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna frame it. That's my story, goodbye. All right, I'm gonna end the day so I can go to bed and wake up tomorrow and have a very positive, great day and learn the lessons I've learned from today. And I'm gonna check some emails, read a little bit of a book, and go to bed. Let's see how we did today. I think we actually did almost everything on our to-do list, to be fair, so let's see how we did. With Lily. I know this vlog was full of nothing. It was full of nothing. There was like four clips in this whole entire vlog and I apologize. Tomorrow will be better. Thank you for joining me on today. I hope you had a wonderful day. Tomorrow I'm actually shooting some, so I know a few vlogs ago I was like, I'm making changes to the vlog channel and I never told you what they were. That was on purpose. Tomorrow I am shooting an interview in the morning so I'm getting my hair and makeup done and then I am going to shoot some really cool stuff that's gonna help me soup up this vlog channel. I'm not gonna give away too much, it's just no. The wheels are turning in here and I can't wait for y'all to see it. It's still gonna be like a couple weeks till you get to see it, I know, <sighs> but it's gonna be worth it. Until then, hoo, hoo, hoo. if you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. Yeah. Also, my last video is trending, which is great because my videos haven't trended in a while. Also, I don't believe in trending. I think that whole thing is a scam. But either way, um, thank you so much for showing love on my last video. Never underestimate how much it matters, like, to comment and thumbs up and that stuff. You've probably been watching me for years, but that stuff still matters to me. Um, still puts food on my plate and stuff. So you know, so you know, so you know. Thank you.